Good morning. Praise the Lord. Today, 26th October, we'll talk a little more about uh, Judas Iscariot. No less than 16 times the word of God speaks of the sin of Judas in betraying Christ. The Savior foreknew it, the Psalmist predicted it, and the Apostle Peter, prior to the day of Pentecost, interpreted it more fully. The exact motivation, motivation behind uh, Judas' betrayal is unclear. What is clear is that Judas allowed his desires to place him in a position where Satan could manipulate him. It is clear, particularly from John's Gospel, that Judas was controlled by Satan. The Lord said to the disciples, One of you is a devil. Uh, we see this in John 6, 17. The devil having already put it into the hearts of heart of Judas that he should deliver him up. That also we see in John 13, 2. The Lord refers to him as the son of perdition in John 17, 12. On two occasions, Satan actually entered into Judas. The first time when the chief priests sought to kill the Lord, Satan entered into Judas and he sought how he might uh, betray him. He went to the... Um, priests and asked them. Luke 22.3. Secondly, in the upper room, after the Lord had given him the sock, Satan entered into him. John 13.27. We might ask, if Satan in entered into Judas, was Judas responsible for his actions? At first, the devil put the suggestion in his heart. He would then entertain the idea and eventually agree within himself to carry it out. It would be at this point that Satan took control of him. Judas betrayed the Lord with a kiss, but afterwards was consumed by remorse for this most dreadful of crimes. Typically, his uh, fellow conspirators no longer wished to collaborate after the crime was committed. So in his desperation, he sought a quick way out. Throwing down the pieces of silver in the temple, he went out and committed suicide. He hung himself, says uh, Matthew's Gospel, 27.5. The Apostle Peter, describing this awful ep episode, states how he fell headlong and was disemboweled. The bowels came out. He may have thought that this was the way of avoiding li living with his conscience in this life, but by doing so, he has ushered himself into eternity to face the consequences forevermore. Judas was not consigned to eternal ruin because he was compelled to betray Christ in order to fulfill prophecy, but because he chose to betray the Savior and in doing so, the scriptures were fulfilled. Luke 22, 22. The betrayal of the Son of God by one of his creatures is utterly amazing and most difficult to contemplate. Evil plans and motives leave us open to being used by Satan for even greater evil. That's the lesson that we should be learning from Judas. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for teaching us about Judas. Lord, please help us not to fall into temptations, not to have anything to do with Satan. In Jesus' precious name I ask. Amen. Amen. God bless you.